one of the necessary things you need to do for the EG4 Life Power 4 48 volt lithium batteries is if you're going to use it on a EG 6000 XP in the manual, it is required that this becomes upgraded to the latest firmware so that the EG 6000 XP can read it. Here we have the BMS test uh, software that we've downloaded from the website. And at this point, um, we want to make sure that we have the uh, correct COM port. So you'll go over to the COM port and make sure that it is the one that is this will talk to. You hit the connect button after that. You'll see that the uh, port has successfully opened up. So we can go to uh, battery info, make sure we check the address and load it. Make sure it's reading the cells. As you can see it's reading all the cells. After that, we'll go to the Program Upgrade tab, and we'll make sure our address is the same as, as on the battery info. With that, we can then get our boot information. Once we get the boot information, we'll go ahead and load the upgrade, uh, upgrade program. I have it downloaded here. Uh, let's see, it's right about here. Then my firmware upgrade, we download from the website. Just select the bottom one, it matches those two, you make sure the numbers match. Which point it'll verify that it is correct. Then you'll start the upgrade. This will take a little bit as it loads up, you see the progress bar. And of course you see the timer going off. It'll be loading, uh, the packets are just being loaded up. Once it's loaded up, you'll see that the progress bar has stopped and that the uh, timer has, has stopped working. It's just shut down now because it's it's all done. You'll see that it says upgrade is successful and you're ready to connect your battery to the 6000 XP.